Hey guys, it's Darren from the Art Imaginarium here, and I've got a quick circus skill to show you that you can try it over these slightly strange times that we're going through. Right, for this, all you're going to need is some sellotape and a piece of paper. Now, I've got some old wrapping paper here, but you could quite easily use some newspaper, whatever it is that you have lying around the house that is large and can be thrown away a little bit, okay? So, what we have to do is take our paper and roll it up into a big, long tube, okay? Now, when we get to the end of rolling our tube, we might notice that it's a little bit out of line on both of the ends. And what we then need to do is to take a finger and just push down on top of that and that will level everything out so that you've got a nice even tube at both ends. Right, once we've done that, we're going to take our sellotape, place one bit in the middle, place one bit at the top, and place one bit at the bottom. Right, once you've done that, you've got your balancing tube. Now, it looks a little bit boring at this point, so I suggest that you Go away, take some paints, take some glitter, make it look a little bit more fantastical than it already does. But you guys know me, I'm a bit boring, I'm a bit lazy, and I'm just going to keep it nice and plain and simple for today. Let's get onto the circus skill though. So now that we've got our balancing stick, we want to learn how to actually balance it. So, the first thing that we're going to do is put our hand out like so. We've got to make sure that our hand's nice and flat, it's not tipped to one side or tipped to the other, because then when we put the object on it, it's just going to fall off. So, we've got our nice flat hand. We're going to place our balancing stick on top. We're going to make sure that we have eye contact with the very tippy top of the stick. We don't want to look down at the bottom for reasons that will become apparent in a little while. Now, to properly balance an object, you always want to make sure that your hand is underneath the top of it. So, if my hand was like this, the balance wouldn't work because it would just drop off. I need to make sure that my hand is directly underneath the top. So, have a little watch. I let go of the object and I'm now moving my hand very small amounts to make sure that my hand stays under the top of the object. Now if I was to have to make slightly bigger movements, you can really see how I have to move to keep underneath the top, okay? Now, as you are progressing with this and getting a little bit better, you'll make those movements smaller and smaller until you can do it on the spot without moving your feet. If you can do a stick balance for a minute without moving your feet, I reckon you're probably ready to go to the next stage, which is experimenting with all of the different places that you might be able to balance an object. You could try the centre of your arm. You could try your elbow. You could try your chin. Now, all of these places are a lot harder than the hand, and that's why I've said try to get to one minute on your hand before you try any other places. But balancing is a really, really fun skill that can be taken so many different places to try out so many different things. So I'm sure that you'll be able to have some fun with it, okay? If you do manage to do any cool tricks, See if you can get them recorded, maybe send them over to me, I would love to see them. But, we've got plenty of time on our hands over the next couple of weeks. Let's use it productively, eh? See if you can balance a stick on your hand. That is Dan's challenge to you.